This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. The final day of training camp is in the books, guys. It's over. It's done. Day 17, and we are done in the books finished. And I want to go over some news on Jalen Hurts, Cooper DeGene, the tight end position, and some injuries that are lurking just a little tiny bit that just make me very uncomfortable. But who's not excited for the regular season? I am. So let's get straight into it. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope everyone's enjoying their work week this week. I hope everyone's doing well because the Eagles have just finished training camp. Finally, it's over, and we have a lot more things to look forward to. Obviously, the last preseason game for some of these depth pieces, some of these guys are really making their last stand to fight for a roster spot. Now, first on the list, I want to go over uh, the first transaction that we had from the Philadelphia Eagles uh, that they have released, C.J. Usama, and they have signed offensive lineman Jason Poe. Um, C.J. Usama was probably one of the worst tight ends that we've had, probably one of the worst signings that we've had at this point for a lot of reasons. C.J. Usama hasn't really been good at 31 years old. He hasn't really been good since he's he was with the Bengals. He was with the Jets last year. I think he was he had an injury last year. But it kind of concerns me a little bit because C.J. Usama, his blocking was horrible. His play was horrific. Didn't really do much. But I'm going to talk about a player that's going to make this roster at tight end. I think this is going to be more interesting. But before I tell you about the player, here's a word from our sponsors at BetUS. If I'm the betting man and I am and you're rooting for the Philadelphia Eagles, this is the redemption year for Jalen Hurts. This is the year we get the bad taste out of our mouths from last season. If I'm going all in, ride or die with a Super Bowl and bringing that Lombardi trophy back to Philadelphia for a second time, you need to go to BetUS and I'm not wasting any time with it. I'm putting 500 down as the risk and getting 7,000 back at the end of the year because this offense is going to be explosive. This defense by Vic Fan. It's going to be dynamic. New customers for BetUS get 125% deposit bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. You can't pass up on this for the most important season for the Philadelphia Eagles. Check the link in the description below. And I want to thank BetUS for sponsoring this video. And speaking of bets, I bet my ass that EJ Jenkins is going to make this roster as the number three. Um, what makes it a little alarming at this point, EJ Jenkins has been pretty productive. I, I like his size. What is he like? Six, six, two 30, 240 something. I mean, the kids got size, uh, but I think what's really alarming right now is Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard has an oblique injury. That's not very good. There's a couple players on this roster, which we'll get into the injury report later on. Dallas Goddard's already hurt right now. Hopefully he'll be back soon. The guy's got to rest up. I don't feel that comfortable with the tight end position. I don't feel comfortable with Dallas Goddard and Calcaterra because both of them are so injury prone uh, just to a point where I, I don't even know if I could really trust them uh, this season. And uh, Dallas Goddard has been doing this every single year, missing four to six games. And, you know, it's hurting his statistics. And I think he'd be a top three tight end in the league. I really do. He'd be, he'd be more than what we thought he would be. We know what he can be. It's just when he's out and we, you know, we totally ignored the position last year. I think, you know, last year is last year, but, you know, Calcaterra is number two. I mean, we might have to rely on EJ Jenkins at tight end at some point. I don't trust the first two tight ends to be healthy this season. So, Thought that transaction was good. Add more offensive line depth. Obviously, you're just adding Jason Poe just for, you know, get a, try to getting a practice squad spot if he even makes it. So probably not. Um, and C.J. Usama has done close to nothing for the Philadelphia Eagles at this point. But some good news, though. Cooper DeGene, it looks like he will be playing this Saturday, which I was really hoping he was going to. This guy, this guy hasn't hit in a while. 
Okay. And yes, he, he did have some practices the past few days and he had one day of limited when it came to joint practices. But uh, this is our second round pick. We don't ultimately know where the Eagles are going to throw him. Now, I know it's only been outside corner, inside corner. He's been the second nickel. He's been pretty much the second guy on the inside at nickel corner, um, you know, on the second team. And, you know, in the near future, before the season starts, it's going to be interesting to see where they ultimately put him. There's no way they're redshirting him this year. This has got to be like they have to use him for specific matchups. And honestly, throwing him at one position is not going to work out for me. Um, it could be safety. It could be obviously being that Swiss Army knife that he is. I think him being that Malcolm Jenkins type move around hybrid player is really going to really it's going to it's going to extend his skill set a lot and his toolbox for this defense. I think that's the player that he's going to be. So all eyes on Cooper DeGene this Saturday. How long they're going to play him, I have no idea, but they have to give him a little bit much, a little bit longer. You are you're, you're you have another week and a half, two weeks until the season starts. So um, another week and a half till the season starts. So, you know, let's try to give him just a little tiny bit more reps, more than a series, at least two series, if that's what you're going to do. If you want to be on the safe side, you don't want to go too much with him, um, you know, but he hasn't, he hasn't really done the physical part of, training camp and you know this is where now he's going to have full pads on and is going to do his thing so very excited for Cooper DeGene to be playing uh this week and, and very excited now Jalen Hurts after 305 after 305 passes at Eagles training camp it looks like uh Jalen Hurts was intercepted for the first time I think this was obviously due to um Bryce Huff already kind of already getting through the line on the sack so I think Jalen Hurts was already sacked on this play but Bryce Huff got right through there got the sack Jalen Hurts throws a late one um I think this was a I think Slay jumped the route inside of Paris Campbell got the pick so you know what Jalen Hurts gets picked the last day of training camp I can't really complain about it too much at all just because you know what like Hertz has been pretty much perfect um all of training camp and what Kelmore has done with him and um it's been fantastic to watch of, of just how far Hertz has come and just getting better and hopefully all this translates into the regular season so it was really nice to see that um, at least, it, you know, Slay making a big play there, which is good. Hopefully, Slay has a really good year as the number one corner prior for the, fa the last year in his career in Philadelphia. Uh, but really, other than that, Jalen Hurts, I thought, had a really good day. I mean, um, he had um, a 30-yard touchdown pass, Devontae Smith in the end zone on the left sideline, which was great. He had some red, jo red zone drills today, uh, had a touchdown pass in front of Zach Bond to Kenneth Gainwell. Um, Kenneth Gainwell had like 14 touches today. He had a touchdown, couple touchdowns. So Kenneth Gainwell having a very, very, I'll eat my words, I always do, um, and I always own up to it. He had a really strong camp, fantastic, strong camp. Kenneth, Kenny G um, in the backfield, and I obviously as a receiving back, like all these running backs are being used. So Jalen Hurts on his last day definitely struggled. There were multiple sacks from multiple guys on the defensive line today. Um, so, you know, Hurts had a little bit of trouble today. But, you know, you want the defense to start getting better every single week. That's, you know, every day, that's what you're really hoping for. You know, you don't want Jalen Hurts to have too many perfect days. I know uh, Pickett was picked today um, by Eli Ricks, and there was a few other things that happened today. So obviously Kenny Pickett doing Kenny Pickett things today. Today. Um, but the injury report for the Philadelphia Eagles, this is what really starting to bother me a little bit. These oblique injuries are not good. Okay, you could be out, uh, depending on how bad it is, you could be out for a good certain amount of time. Dallas Goddard has no oblique injury. Jalix Hunt has no oblique injury. So not only do you get a you take a hit from Dallas Goddard that's been healthy all of training camp, last day with an oblique injury. Okay. And now with some of the other guys, Jalex Hunt, your, your third round pick is not now having an injury and then is going to be out until the game, the first game where he comes back and he's not going to be 100 percent because he's coming back off an injury. So I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully these guys are back soon, but those are two big hits to your defense and your offense with Dallas Goddard and Jalex Hunt. Now, Matt Hennessy has a back injury. Um, Trevor Keegan with a hip. Albert O with abdomen. Another tight end injury. I mean, Jesus, it's just ridiculous. 
ridiculous. John Ross, concussion, not a big deal. Tyler Steen still out with that ankle injury, man. Two injuries for Tyler Steen. And, you know, Makai Becton obviously won the job. Caden Stearns has been injury, injury. He's at safety since he's been back, since he got signed by the Eagles. He's been injured. So, I mean, he didn't pass the physical with Carolina when he was supposed to sign over there. And the Eagles said, you know what? Sign over here. Why not? We'll keep you. Obviously, he played for Vic Fangio's defense when he was the head coach in Denver, and they drafted him. So I think he's more of a next-year type opportunity with Caden Stearns. Johnny Wilson still out with the concussion, dude. I think protocol for concussions are a little different. I think once you get a concussion, you're automatically out for the for the game next week. You're out, you're, you're out for a whole week. I think there's just a rule there that you have to be out for a week. They don't give it a few days or whatnot. So it is the tight end position is alarming. Jalex Hunt injury is alarming. Um, you know, so we got to see a little bit more what happens here. Uh, so depth and starting, you know, there's a few positions that are um, taking some hits right now, but you still have another week and a half until the season starts. So the more rest, the, the more uh, we could we could go here. Um, 1v1 matchups for the day as we had. So it looks like uh, DeGene had the best of Britton Covey, which is really good. So won that matchup. Quinion won against A.J. Brown today. Love that matchup. Quinion is just having a fantastic camp. Just what he's done at nickel outside. Hybrid type player that now, God forbid, you need to use him on outside, outside, you know, Quinion, we talked about him the other day, on how Vic Fangio really took a gamble on Quinion and Bryce Huff and some of these guys and really extending their skill sets, adding more to the to their toolbox when it comes to coverage and putting in play putting in players to new positions they'd never played. And it seems like it's becoming a big win. Uh, for Philadelphia right now when it comes to some of these players that, you know, <laughs> Fangio did some things we weren't comfortable with, but it looks like it's paying off. Um, Nolan Smith uh, had a good matchup against uh, Kennard, and obviously on, in coverage that we had, obviously not in coverage, and, uh, I guess a sack for what it looks like on the edge. Um, Kennard's had a pretty good camp with the Eagles as a rotational uh, right guard, right tackle could play both positions, which is good. And then Davis Price uh, was nice against, uh, had, a, had a nice catch against uh, uh, Van Summeren, uh, which which is good. Davis Price has looked like the better of the, you know, for a number four running back, I think he's been the best back so far. Um, out of all of them, I like Kendall Milton. Nichols might be the one that's on the way out uh, of, this, of this offense. So we'll see what happens there. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. This is the... Uh, this is the last day of train camp. This is it. We've already had, um, you know, uh, I, I think so to summarize everything with new coordinators coming in, the offense looks like it's changing their ways and the pre-snap motion using middle of the field with crossers, hot routes, you name it. I feel like there's a lot more that he's going through the strengths of his players. Not one offensive player is ignored. Um, so I'm very happy with all that. Vic Fangio, like I said, is taking a gamble on making some changes to some of these players, expanding players and what they could do, um, and not setting these players up to fail. And, and, and really being a hard-nosed coach, tough training camp practices for the Eagles, probably the hardest uh, that some of these players have ever been through in their whole careers, even some of the older guys so it's showing really good signs. So what we're looking for this week in the last preseason game is really just for depth pieces to really have that last fight for roster spots or, pre, you know, obviously for practice squad. But what we're really looking at right now is Cooper DeJean. All eyes are on Cooper DeJean. Maybe some of these running backs, maybe the tight end and EJ Jenkins, something like that. That's what we're really looking for. Trotter Jr., you know, some of the other guys. We're going to find out who's dressed, who's not dressed. Remember, next Tuesday is cuts. This is it. Next Tuesday, they're going to cut that roster down all the way to 53 by the end of Tuesday. They have to do it in one day, and uh, it's going to be very interesting. So they'll start cutting down. They'll start cutting down after uh, the game on Saturday, and we'll see what it looks like by the end of Tuesday into Wednesday morning. I can't wait to see all of that with you guys. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Make sure uh, I want to I want to actually thank BetUS for sponsoring this video because we couldn't get this far without them. OK, 120, 125 percent deposit bonus on your first three deposits up to two thousand um, dollars. And uh, yeah, keep betting because the Eagles are going to make you a lot of money this year. Uh, make sure you check the link. Click the link in the description below for BetUS. Check it out through my code. Check it out. And I will see you guys on the next one. Subscribe, like the video. More Eagles news every single day. Love you all. Shake squad up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.